date. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. I'm not sure how old the dude is who's calling in for a second date update today, but judging from his email, he's just a little guy. Because it (laughs) looks like his mom set him up on a play date. What? And that's where he met the girl that he wants to call today. His name is Avery. Avery, you there, big guy? Hey, I'm not a little guy. Okay. Are you a six-year-old with a really mature voice, or are you older than that? I'm 27. Oh, you're 27. Yeah. Avery, your email made it sound like your mom set you up on a play date because you said that your mom actually set this whole thing up with her mom? Yeah, that's that's what happened. Uh, you know, my mom's just a little crazy. She kind of just makes decisions for me without even asking me. Oh, man. Oh. She sounds like a walk in the park. And do you usually go along with these ideas, or is this one of the first times that it actually worked out for you? I've never done anything like this before, but she's my mom, so I've kind of agreed to it, yeah. Okay. So, did her mom and your mom talk, and that's how you went out with this girl? Yeah, yeah. They uh, they know each other through uh, some book club or something that they're actively involved in, and they kind of just try to hook us up on a date. So that's that's what happened. That's kind of cute. I mean, it could work out great. Your mo- I mean, who knows you best? Your mom, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. So, what's the girl's name, Avery? Her name is Rebecca. Okay. Okay. And was it a true blind date, like where you guys met at a restaurant? Yeah, well, I kind of stalked her on social media a little bit before. Okay. Oh. So you saw her picture and you thought, oh, I can do this. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's good. So I, I agreed to go on the date, and we met for dinner. But, uh, you know, it, it was kind of weird at first. Okay. Okay, and I, why was it weird? Well, I mean, she's pretty and all. I mean, she's really hot, you know, but her hair just wasn't what I thought it would be. Her hair? Yeah. What do you mean it wasn't what, like, what were your expectations of her hair? <laughs> well, you know, like I said, I looked her up on social media, uh-huh. and her hair, in the picture, her hair was wavy. Okay. But when we met, her hair was straight. Whoa. <laughs> Girls have magic things that they can do to themselves, Avery. No, for real, guys. It, it, it weirded me out. I mean, I was prepared for wavy. And then it was straight. Uh huh. Are you screwing with us right now, Avery? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. And it's not that I have a preference for straight hair or wavy hair. I was just imagining wavy hair. So mm-hmm. I was like, whoa, and just really caught off guard. <laughs> You're a liar. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> that bet. sounds like she's a wild card, dude. Are you sure you want to try to continue a relationship with her? Yeah, I mean, well, the date ended up going really well. Um, I might have stared at her hair just a little bit because, you know, like I said, it's weirded out. Yeah. But we got to talking at dinner, and we just found out that we're both a lot alike in a lot of ways. Yeah, except she's a liar when it comes to hair, and you're not. <laughs> what did you guys have in common, Avery? Uh, well, we both ordered the same meal, so that means we have the same taste in food. Oh, hey. man. You both like soup. Yep. <laughs> found out that we both like reggae. Awesome. Okay. That actually shocks me about you. <laughs> yeah, I don't picture you as a big reggae no. guy, Avery. I don't know why. No, I totally love it. The offbeat, the bounce, chicka wow, chicka wow, like that stuff's awesome. Okay. You like, nice. I mean, it's just it's just awesome form of music. It's totally different. Yeah. Hey, I think that's cool, Avery. Hey, I love reggae. At the end of the night, I invited her over to my place to hang out. And did she say yes? Oh yeah, yeah. She uh, did. Oh, so she was actually having a good time, too. I was doubting it. Yeah, I think she was having a good time, yeah. Okay. okay. How did that go back at your house? Listen to a little reggae music back there, maybe curl her hair so it looked normal? <laughs> no, just waves. Don't go all the way to curl. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we did listen to some reggae back at my place, but, no, I didn't touch her hair. I left it nice and straight, mm. even though, okay. you know, everything in me wanted to make it curly. <laughs> I just I left it alone. I didn't touch her hair that much. Good. So okay. wait, was this and like a, a night back at your house, like a night back at your house, or did you guys just have a couple drinks? We ended up hanging out, sitting on my bed, and uh, making out a little bit, but nothing more than that. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so it sounds like she liked you back. Yeah, I think so. God, I bet that's not what your mom had in mind when she set you up. <laughs> Make out sessions. <laughs> I bet she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet not, Avery, you animal. Yeah, that's right. But I don't know why she's not calling me back. I've been trying to get in touch with her. You know, I tried texting her a few times. I called uh-huh. her once, checked in with her on social media. I asked my mom to talk to her mom since they're like pals or whatever. 
and she didn't say anything. She had no intel for me, so oh. I don't really know what happened. I don't know what to do. I don't know if it was something that I did. Do you believe your mom, or do you think she's lying to you to save your feelings? Nah, my mom wouldn't lie to me. Okay. Oh, was there know. anything weird that happened that you can think of that would have turned her off? I mean, she made out with you at your place. I really don't know, unless she was picturing my hair being differently, too. <laughs> that could- <laughs> Maybe that's it. Oh well, Your hopefully that's mad. the problem, yeah. and then we can get her on the phone and clear all that up for you, Avery. We're going to play a song, come back, call her, and get your second date update, okay? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> all right. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. If you're just tuning in for today's second date update, today is a big one. One of the craziest things we've ever heard happen on a first date before, <laughs> ever. Oh, no. What? Avery is on the phone to do a second date update. He got hooked up with a girl because their mothers know each other. His mom knows her mom, and they said that they should go out on a date. Mm-hmm. They did have a fun time, but the biggest shocker for Avery, mm. when she showed up, her hair was different. <gasps> yeah. I mean... Talk about a bomb being dropped. Oh, Apparently, when he saw pictures of her, her hair was wavy, but when she showed up for the date, her hair was straight, and that made Avery feel a little uncomfortable, but he says that they recovered, had a nice night, even went back to his place and made out a little bit, but now she's not calling him back. Avery, are you ready to get your second date update? I'm ready. Okay, and looking into the future right now, Avery, if you were to get a second date and say she cut her hair, I mean, is that something you're also mentally prepared for? Well, it might take a little bit of time, but I really like her, and I think that's all that matters. Wow, you're a bigger man than most, Avery. Yeah, Yeah, salute to you. All right, Avery. Well, I'm going to dial her phone number right now, okay? All right. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Rebecca, please? This is she. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm sorry, who? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. Oh, um, hi. I'm I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. You have any idea why I'm calling? <laughs> I honestly, I don't even know who you are. Okay, <laughs> it's well, very honest. Well, I'll explain the whole thing. My name is Jubal, and I host the show Brook and Jubal in the Morning. That's Brooke over there. Hi. Hello. And that's Jose over there. Hey, what's up? Hello. You sound very (laughs) The reason that we're calling you today is that one of our listeners emailed us about you. About me? Yes. Okay. Um... It's a guy that you went out on a date with. He says that you guys had a great time, but now you're not calling him back, and he's very confused. Do you have any idea who I might be talking about? Oh, God. Avery? Yes. Congratulations. You got it right. (laughs) Okay. Um, uh, We do a segment on our show called The Second Date Update. So Avery emailed us because he's confused. He thought your date was great, but now you're not responding to any of his messages. Yeah, you're you're right. I am not responding to any of his messages. Okay. Okay. I mean, from his description, it sounded like you were really into the date. Um, I mean, it it was fun. I had a nice time, but I just... He... He's probably a little too much for my taste, and I just don't think that it's a good idea to continue. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't know how he could be too much for your taste. Can I tell you what he told us about your date? Sure. (laughs) So he said that you guys got set up because your moms know each other? Uh Uh-huh. Right. And then he said that you met up, you had a good time, you even went back to his place and made out on his bed. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah, we did. (laughs) <laughs> Sounds is, real enjoyable when you say it like that. Yeah. Is is that what you mean too much? Like, do you not move that fast normally or something? Well, not necessarily that. I just, a couple of things became apparent that are kind of red flags for me. And I just felt like I was finished at that point. He was a horrible kisser, wasn't he? Well, he wasn't my favorite kisser that I've had, but he wasn't the worst. Oh, okay. oh, well, that's always the review that guys want after you make out with them. You're not yeah. the worst. Was his place, like, disgusting? No, I just I just don't need to get him in trouble. He seems like a nice enough guy. In trouble with what? Just the lifestyle that he lives is a little too intense for me, and I'm, I'm Wait, you know, Avery? He... We're talking about the same Avery, right? <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, I was shocked that he liked reggae. <laughs> that was kind of the shocker for me, too. Like, I I also enjoy reggae, but, like, I cool. I wasn't necessarily expecting that. So that kind of brought my guard down, and I thought that, you know, maybe we did have a lot in common. And, uh-huh. you know, when we went back to his place, I was kind of into it, but it just – that's not really enough to keep a connection alive, I guess. I don't know. So what, well, what happened? Yeah, what was it? Um, do I have to tell you? I don't know. I, yes. <laughs> well, we'd appreciate it. And so would he. He really wants to know. And he's like not going to get in trouble if it's anything weird. I don't. Well, with the law? it depends like, on how weird it is. I mean, I'm sure the authorities could get involved if they need to. I don't know what, so like a what you're even talking about. <laughs> well, just basically, like, long story short, we were having a really nice date. We went back to his place. He turned on some reggae. We were making out a little bit. And then all of a sudden he stops me and he says, why don't we kick this party up to the next level? Whoa! Wait, what? What does that mean? mean? (laughs) So he pulls this box from underneath his bed and he opens it and it's just drug paraphernalia in it. What? Like what? I know. Well, you know, like there's, there's some weed and some other stuff. So he offers me, you know, he says, do you want to have some fun? And I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'll pass. And he says, fine. I'm going to have all the fun myself then, I guess. And he puts the pill on his tongue and Whoa. turns on a strobe light. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Oh, my God. And, like, all of a sudden the date turns into this rave and I was just, <laughs> I was not on board. And he says, you know, let's go crazy. And then he stands up on his bed and starts dancing and, like, gyrating. <laughs> We're talking about the same Avery. What? Yes. Rebecca, what are you doing? How can you say that stuff on air, on the radio? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Oh, that's Avery. He's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Rebecca, our moms are going to hear this. Oh, moms. I forgot about the moms. You've been listening the whole time. Yes, I've been listening to everything. I didn't know that was an issue. How could it not be an issue, Avery? You said you liked reggae. You said you were into the culture. We were on the same yeah. page. Oh, my reggae. God, the movement and the historical significance of it, not the drug culture. <laughs> but that comes with it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Listen, man, you, you started out so nice and so, like, so very different than you were back at your house like like you you were so calm and it was a, even almost awkward and then you get back home and it's just a non-stop party all the time like what is that well that's the me when i'm in public but you know when i'm in my home in my den i mean that's my safe space he invited and, you into a safe space. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what to say to that, Avery. Like this is like our first date. This is the impression. Well, I thought you were cool with it. I thought it would be okay and be kind of fun. I didn't know he was gonna tattletale on me and rat me out. <laughs> <laughs> rat me out. I mean, Avery, you you didn't even like gauge how I felt about that kind of thing. You just went to town. Like I can't how am I supposed to... Well, it's because I like you. I thought we had a lot in common. Hey, if you don't want to have fun with me, I get it. It is what it is. Maybe the next time I go out with somebody, they'll actually have the same hair that's in their photos. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what photos? Your hair is totally different from what you have on Facebook. I've literally had the same haircut for like four years. What are you talking about? saw the pictures your hair's wavy but you showed up to the date and your hair was totally straight (laughs) are you kidding me you showed up to the date like a clean cut nice dude and then took me back to your drug den and turned on a strobe light (laughs) (laughs) good point rebecca best point ever hey rebecca would you like to go out with avery again on a second date we will pay for it (laughs) you know (laughs) I I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe he can use those funds to take somebody else into his den and have a great, (laughs) wonderful night. Oh, my God. Den sounds so creepy every time you say it. (laughs) Well, I guess I'll just have to find somebody else to party with. No, Avery, say no to drugs, for God's sake. Rebecca, you didn't tell my mom, did you? Uh, 
No, I, I've never even met your mother. <laughs> you didn't tell your mom either, right? I just told her that it wasn't a good fit. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh man, dodged a bullet, Avery. I'm sorry you didn't get a date, but you can still live the party on. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.